After 50 years of marriage, the governor, Governor Robert Bentley, and his wife, Diane, appear to be headed for divorce. The first lady filed paperwork in court this morning. News 5's Alan Carter has more. By all appearances, it was a normal event. What does yours represent here today? The governor and his wife at a press conference for College Colors Day, but just 30 minutes before, First Lady Diane Bentley filed for divorce. She cites an irretrievable breakdown that they have a complete incompatibility of temperament and that they can no longer live together. In fact, she says they've lived apart since January in what appears to be the end of a 50-year marriage. You know, he's doing a job and it's all consuming. And like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't seen more of this. Political consultant John Gray says it's very possible that this will be politicized. He's a Republican. He's going to get hit for espousing Christian values and gay marriage. And he's going to get a hit for divorce. And where are his beliefs and where is his morality with regards to the sanctity of marriage? He's going to take some very unfair attacks. I think Governor Bentley is going to be very, very happy he's not having to run for re-election. With two public figures, um, you would hope that it would not be in the public for very long and, and have to get really ugly. Brad Lotta is a divorce attorney who isn't connected to the case, but looked at the filing. I think a lot of people were surprised they've been separated. Mrs. Bentley makes heavy demands asking the governor to take on their debts and to give her their properties. But Lotta says that's standard. And usually whoever files a complaint first asks, asks for everything. Um, and sometimes they think they're going to get that and sometimes they know they're not. Um, but it's okay to go ahead and ask for everything in the initial complaint. The governor's office did release a short statement saying, the governor asked that you please respect the privacy of the Bentley family during this difficult time. There will be no further comment. And in case you were wondering, this would not be the first time a sitting governor in Alabama has gone through a divorce. In 1978, Governor George Wallace was divorced from his second wife, Cornelia, during his third term. Putting live in the newsroom, Alan Carter, News 5.